Hello everyone, we are Irander. The video today is about Houdini's new update, Houdini 19. From the sneak peek and Houdini launch reveal video, we can see there are a lot of new crazy updates from SideFX. So in today's video, we're going to put together all that we've been revealed so far. Let's get started. First, we got Solaris. So this update here we got a new component node. This component node supports the streamline import objects. It brings us from model level to Solaris in a seamless way. You can poly reduce, create a low poly version for our object, which is a lot easier to work, and create object variants. Layout artists can now take advantage of this new update with Solaris and Karma to do the most, from importing your model with reliability and ease assets, now can be converted to USD with material and thumbnail with fewer clicks. There is a new assets gallery for imported objects. In Houdini 19, a brand new set of brushes can be done with more convenience. You can now use this brush to place multiple assets in your scene conveniently. For those who are looking for a quick population, the field brush may satisfy you. And also coming with this release is the scale orient and not brush for additional tweaks once you populate assets around your scene. Now layout artists can easily scale orient nudge and also populate assets anyhow they chose in the scene and not bother so much about performance. In this update, there is also a background render that actually spawns karma in the background. You can continue working while the render is occurring in the background. We now move to the most exciting part of this update. The first person camera. You can walk around the scene with the first person view. To do it, there is a sort of click to jump feature. We double click on space and hop to that space, then it's easier to jump around the scene. Next, Karma. Karma CPU has been introduced in beta since the release of Solaris. After a long time of waiting, finally Karma is ready for production. Houdini 19 comes with a dedicated Unreal Engine 5 plugin that supports Houdini Engine, newly designed workflow for geometry layouts, and crowd system support for multi-layered FBX for textures and other elements, enhanced skeleton blending, support for Python 3.7. Another update is for modeling. There is a redesigned curve tool with a bezier handle and corner handling. That's gonna make your drawing calls in Houdini extremely clean and easy to control. There is also a new update on volume deformation. You can have the smoothest possible result while also maintaining a maximum amount of detail. The next update is KineFX. Motion capture now can be live streamed directly into Houdini with support for tools like Vicon, Sense, Faceware. This makes it even way easier for Houdini users to capture, tweak, and animate. The final update today is CFX. There is muscle tissue and simulation that will be in Houdini 19, but it is still in beta. Grooming. We usually groom hair in Houdini with a procedural method but it is hard to control the overall shape of the hair. Now, they improve grooming hair with a sculpting approach for more control over complex hairstyles. You can plant hair, define hair direction, and shape. Then we can render it with the new Karma Hair Shader. Additionally, there is a new update on VFX and Destruction. We will then experience new features when the official launch of Houdini 19 is available. That is the summary for the Houdini update. We'll make more tests for new updates from Houdini. See you in the next video. I render. Happy rendering, happy training.